Hi and welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Langers. I am the Scruffy Trader. And I'm trying to put trading in the real world. No fake Lamborghinis or mansions. It's just me. A cup of coffee. Because we all know Scruffy loves a coffee. And that's great. And this little playlist is trying to answer simple trading questions like what is an RSI, what's Forex, etc. in plain English. No gobbledygook, just simple terms answered in a simple way. And I give a shout out to everybody who asks the question and it's great if you drop your question below to say who you are and where you're from because it's great to see how far the word is spreading and I'll answer it for you. And today's question is a great question. So Thank you very much, Nick. Very good as always. And the question is, what is a leading indicator and what is a lagging indicator? Well, there's actually three versions of it. You have a leading indicator, which is the likes of the Williams percentage R, an RSI or a stochastic. And the way they work is all very similar. Uh, the, the bounded indicators from 0 to 100 normally, uh, using an RSI as a reference point for that, by the way. And the way they are is they will look 14 periods back, 28 periods back, or 5 periods, whatever your setting is. And what you're watching for is for it to either cross the center line or an upper band or a lower band. Now when it crosses an upper band, for example, it will be classed as overbought, so the future direction is down, making it a leading indicator. And likewise, if it goes under the, the bottom threshold, the future direction is up. Okay. Now a lagging indicator is a one that looks so many periods back and gives you an average of price with the most obvious one being a moving average. It will look however many periods back you set. Standard settings are normally 14. So it'll look 14 periods back, add them all together, divide it by 14, give you an average and that'll show you the average. And what you're looking at, you're looking at past performance to kind of give you a guide of how price is performing in a trend or whether it's going sideways. Very, very simple. Uh, I use the Bollinger Band, which is a lagging indicator because it uses a moving average and then has two deviations either side of it. And as you're looking at a Bollinger, you will see as the deviation starts to spread apart it's almost like a rubber band so it's stretching out and eventually it gets to a point where it can't take any more and it needs to come back into the middle it snaps back okay uh, so they're lagging indicators because they, they're looking at past data all the time and then you have what's called a hybrid and this is an indicator that will look at both but it'll also try and project forward as well and that's an Ichimaku cloud and the Ichimaku when you first look at it is a mind-blowing indicator because it is full of lines and colors and when I first saw it a few years ago it nearly blew my mind I was like I'm not using that but if you strip it down and just look at the cloud it projects forward 26 periods and gives you a good indication as to direction of price uh, so that's a hybrid between a lagging because it does have moving averages in it and a projection so it's a hybrid and as we go forward in these little videos i'll pull each of the indicators up on the screen and we'll break them down fully and i'll show you how you make money from them so that's kind of the difference between the three of them okay one of them is looking to show you where future price is 
one of them just shows you where price has been and the last one shows you both okay so leading lagging hybrid so there you go nice quick and simple if you like this please subscribe click the like button ask your question below just say who you are where you're from and i'll answer it in plain english for you and remember do what you love and the money will follow see you on the next one